Hey you guys, Lugbug here and welcome to my Xbox Series X Elgato tutorial setup video. I don't even know like how to properly title this video, but um, this is a tutorial video that I just thought I would do for anyone who is wanting to get into maybe making content with an Elgato capture card on the next gen consoles, which of course have just been coming out. This is my Xbox Series X, which I did just get today. There is an unboxing of it on my channel, which I'm uh, very excited to be able to have this. I can't wait to start making content on it from December 4th to be honest when FIFA is finally available uh, on it for the time being FIFA videos will have to remain on the Xbox One just there but um, yeah this video is basically just to show you how to set up your Gato uh, capture card with your Xbox Series X and pretty much with the Xbox Series S as well because I'm guessing how the two consoles are from the back side is probably a very similar setup and that I'm guessing they'll both have like the same amount of HDMI slots USB and stuff like that so um, but if you guys do have any questions about it if I uh, don't manage to like clear them up or show you in this video and just let me know in the comments section as well Elgato themselves on Twitter last night did set up a bit of a thread and said about that um, I'd say I think it's all of their capture cards do actually work on the Xbox Series X now off camera I've just tested it and the whole thing linked up fine hopefully when I come to do the video now itself hopefully everything will work fine as well I'm going to like, give, give you a, a step by step now the particular capture card that I have um, is the HD60S. Now, to be quite honest, uh, the chances are for the majority of people, whether you're a massive content creator, maybe a small content creator, or just looking to get into, you know, making YouTube videos yourself, the chances are that you'll have one of these three particular capture cards, either the HD60, the HD60S, which is what I've got, or the HD60S Plus. They're like the three main capture cards, um, certainly for when you want to use it with like consoles and stuff like that. Obviously, there's like different ones for like PC and all that type of stuff as well. But those three capture cards do work on the Xbox Series X. Confirmed by Elgato, but the one that we have is the HD60S, which we'll show you for this video. So, how am I going to try and start this? I'm not, I don't really do tutorials on YouTube, I just do FIFA videos, but hopefully my tutorial will be uh, relatively straightforward uh, for you guys. I do only have like a, not the best mobile phone, so I'm hoping that everything will go into focus pretty well, but it might not, but you just got to bear with me. But basically, let me just show you what my Elgato capture card is. Uh, and I think the first thing that we'll go through first is how to link up the USB cable to the computer or to your laptop, whatever. So basically, when you get something like the HD60S uh, capture cards, um, I mean, I got mine 18 months ago now, but from memory, obviously, you get the capture card itself, which you can see there. I believe that you are also supplied with one HDMI cable and one USB cable. The USB cable is to be able to link up between your capture card and the computer or your laptop, whatever. And then one HDMI cable, but you do need two HDMI cables. Now, when you buy an X uh, gen console, whether it be a PS5 or an Xbox Series X, an Xbox Series S, you will also be supplied with one HDMI cable. Now you need two HDMI cables. I mean, to be quite honest as well, the chances are you probably ought to have like maybe five or six just lying around in your house because HDMI cables are so common and very easy to be able to come by and are very cheap as well. You can get like a HDMI cable for what, like five pounds, if that. Um, so they're not even that expensive. But anyway, let's talk about the USB first. So as you can see here, USB, which is where you'll plug that into. And I do have a lot of wires around here because of like the... Uh, the Nintendo Switch, the Xbox One, now the Xbox Series X. So I do apologize with that. But this little USB here will connect all the way into your computer. Now, I have an all-in-one PC. You might have a desktop. You might have a laptop. Every computer will have at least one um, USB slot. I think I've got maybe like two or three on mine. I've got one from a webcam there. I've got maybe a few others as well for my, uh, for my Yeti mic as well. Um, but yeah, you connect that up, that, that, that first part done, happy days. Now it's about the two HDMI cables. So the one here, which is by your USB cable, will be your HDMI in for your Elgato. Hopefully I can try and, I don't know if I can really get this in focus, to be honest, so I do apologize about that. If I can just show you the out part, then you know that the other part's in, basically. So this there... That's out. I know it's a bit blurred and it, it, it's kind of hard to get it into focus. So that's out, as you can see there. And then on the other side, that, that'll be in, but it'll be too hard for me to get like a good camera angle on it. And then there'll probably be lighting problems. But so for the HDMI in, you want to plug in a HDMI cable and link this one up with your console. So if I get the Xbox Series X here, we take it down 
and then uh, if it gets into focus you will see the um, the HDMI out so what you want to do is with the Elgato you want to plug one HDMI cable into the in and link it into the HDMI out on your console job done that's fine then you want to get your HDMI out from your Elgato and link it to your TV. Again, very, very simple. Just direct it to your TV. Chances are most TVs have, well, they will have it guaranteed one HDMI cable. Um, but most TVs nowadays probably have two. Even some have three. Uh, I've got two on mine. So I've got one there for my Xbox One. And then I've got this one here, which links up um, with that HDMI out cable there on the Elgato capture card. Now, that part's all done. I do need to take a bit of a breath because... I'm starting to lose my breath. Now, you're probably going to hear a bit of a chainsaw noise right now. That's just my computer. You don't have to worry about that noise. Um, but as you can see, I've got the Elgato capture card there as well. The direct one, which you can download for free off the website. But I use OBS. I mean, I'll show you OBS first. But then for people that don't have OBS, I'll show you that it still works with the game capture card as well. So I've just shown you all those link up there. And then what will happen now is... Go to the little webcam there so you can see what I'm doing. And my xbox series x dashboard comes up i'll even show you that i'm on the xbox series x um if i just go back to the main menu um which is here so that's all fine and that all works that's brilliant and i'll even show you that for those of you who don't have obs that it works if you just open the bog standards uh, capture HD card for your Elgato. I don't really use this too much to be honest. I prefer using OBS. I always encourage people to try and get OBS. I think it's a a great bit of software to try and uh, download. I think it's a lot better than just the um, than just the capture card itself, which as well takes a little bit longer to be able to load up. But when it does, uh, it will complete the whole tutorial. And if you do have any questions about this, just let me know in the comments section as well. I don't know if my tutorials are necessarily too great, but as you can see there, once again. It loads up absolutely perfect. No delay in any like the input or whatever coming through uh, to the computer. And that is everything that you need to know regarding uh, the Elgato HD60S. And it's very, very, very similar. If you, even if you just had the bog standard HD60 or even the S Plus version, it's pretty much going to be the exact same way that you, uh, you know, that like that the the, the, uh, the process of being able to do. This. So hopefully this video has helped you guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys. Later.